This is a 2v1 exercise and the whole focus of that exercise is to be as aggressive as possible at the front of the court. The focus on this exercise as well is to, to move up your base position as much as possible, get higher up on the court. That means that you are a little bit more vulnerable at the back in the deep corners and all that, but you should be able to move that base position forward in order to really add on some pressure at the front of the court. You are opening up at the back, but you have to be able to cover that one too. Another focus point in, uh, in this exercise is, is about pace, be as quick as possible. It's not about playing outright winners, it, it's all about generating enough pace in order for perhaps forcing your opponent into it. When you play singles, whether it's men's singles or women's singles, it doesn't really matter it's very, very important that you control the front of the court. You control the net. By doing so, you are the one that's getting the lift and good attacking opportunities. So the front of the court is extremely important as and when you're playing singles. And that's the reason why we're talking a lot about moving up your base position, even though that's opening up a little bit at the back, but that opportunity to really add on the pressure and add on the pace and get the lift and get the attack and get the initiative that's what's really important when it comes to singles. If you are not moving up your base position, if you are too late at the front of the court, if you are not really aggressive, if you're not moving fast enough, adding enough pressure on it's actually you who are retrieving the whole time it's you who's under pressure you're playing this, your shots from a very low position you're giving the opponent much more time to play proper shots and put you even under more pressure so it is important to counter attack that situation in the best possible way and get it early